Oh, oh, oh. You need to give what you get. And that's why in this video, I'm going to not only pull these four shards during this 2x event, these shards that I got from the referral program. By the way, I have videos on how to do this in case you're the person watching right now wondering how I did this. Like I said, we're going to give legendaries in the hopes that we get legendaries. I'm going to feed all of these legendaries on my alt accounts, my referral accounts. These accounts are about to go straight to the garbage. It feels like it's been a while since I've given you guys an update on my uh, free-to-play account. So we just hit level 50. Ooh, Pelhound is a great farmer. We just hit level 50 on all these referral accounts. We are able to do Dragon 13 and Ice Golden 13 on a very consistent basis now, quite reliably. I think those are the highlights. Uh, two King Hard, I think, or Nightmare, or not Nightmare, my god, Nightmare, no. I meant to say Normal. I thought about it, and yeah, I could have given these accounts away, but I don't want my channel to become a channel that just does a bunch of account giveaways. I don't want my uh, channel to be flooded with that type of content. I don't feel like that's who I am. You guys might hate me for this, but, you know, these are, these are throwaway accounts that I don't really... Uh, mind or care about. We're feeding Molly and Ella guys, and in my experience with all my giveaway accounts, everybody I've given an account to, they they don't end up staying in raid regardless. So, you know, what I mean, it's kind of sad to see, but this isn't much different. At least I can record this and share this with you guys <laughs> in case some of you are out there and you've always wanted to see this happen or or you wanted to do this yourself. You can live out your fantasy. I don't know who. In the right mind would want to be crazy enough to feed legendary champions to or just legendary champions at all but there it is especially limited time champions like rathalos two level 60s will bring you all the way to 50. pretty sure someone out there has been wanting to but don't doesn't want to do it on their account now you can see me do it we're going to collect our four sacred shards and we're going to make sure we're in international zero that's where i hang out all right, guys, we have a 2x and we have a targeted champion boost. I don't really care about the targeted champion, but I feel good about these four shards. So let's go ahead and do it. And thank you for 911 subs. All right, we got an epic. Oh, we got Fat Man. I just did a video on him. This is a big pull. I'll take that. Come on. Believe in the heart of the um, friendship and the power of the cards. Uh, okay. That's what happens when you believe in the power of God. Two epic foods so far. All right, last one. Let's see it. Oh, 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 what? We pulled a Necmothar. Guys, I couldn't see it at first because my vision was bl was uh, blurry, but we pulled a Necmothar, dude. Necmothar has an AOE decrease attack. He does uh, a decreased speed and leech on his A2, and then he brings our speed up for his entire team with a turn meter boost, as well as an extra turn. So oftentimes in Hydra, what I do is I do the A3, rolling into the A2, and then his passive fills this champion's turn meter by 5% each time a debuff on an enemy is removed, transferred, or expired. Nekmothar is an insane champion who goes really, really fast. Awesome support champion. Of course, we have the increased ally speed battles by 19 percent that is a good win or that is a good good pull good pull good pull i wouldn't mind pulling another one of these guys on my main account i have one necmothar that i use for hydra but this is what the account's looking like right now we currently only have one two three four legos a best we, we pulled her I, I wasn't too excited about her but necmothar look how highly he's rated he's like five almost five all around let's pull these four right here and we get a husk husk is a good champion definitely keep that one let's go ahead and put necmothar in here for our wish list as well apothecary yes that is what i wanted what did we get we got we're gonna sell that and we got a legendary, and it is the guy from Game of Thrones. So we're going to give this to Apothecary for Shurzies. Going to get rid of this 
keep that we're keeping that I'm keeping that i guess we'll keep that but I, I don't know even if i pulled him i don't think i would i would use him I'd just sell it yeah so the way i'm going to build him is probably in all speed make him as fast as i possibly can with accuracy he's going to need the accuracy to land the debuffs the decrease attack the decreased speed and the leech and leech is pretty powerful because any champion that attacks a champion with leech debuff heals for 18 percent of the inflicted damage so it's, it's really nice, especially if you're doing enemy max HP moves, then you're healing by a huge chunk. And then the more enemies that have the leech debuff, like in Hydra, the bigger the heals. And now it is time for me to work my way to get Chronum. I only have to bring these accounts up to level 40. If you want to see a video on how to do the referral accounts, go ahead and check this video out.